In my previous video, we saw how to prevent emitter clogging at the design states. But what can we do where our emitters are already clogged? In this video, I will show you how to manage three of the most common problems that cause emitter clogging. So basically, emitter clogging can occur for two main reasons. Directly due to uh, an appropriate uh, filtration system or inadequate uh, maintenance and indirectly due to chemical precipitations and or biological accumulations. So let's have a closer look at these problems. The first and most common problem is that the emitters get directly clogged due to any kind of dirtiness, due to an ineffective filter performance or because it hasn't been installed or it hasn't been removed. To solve this problem, our filtration system must be installed with the adequate technology adapted to our quality of water. This is an essential element in our installation which protects it from direct clogging. It's like the filter of our tractor. Without it, the hydraulic system, the aircon or even the engine won't work. The second most common problem is when small contaminants pass through the filtration system and deposit inside the drip lines and pipes. Due to the low water speed, these small contaminants accumulate and can clog the meters well. To avoid these problems, I suggest you to use quality meters with a labeling design that avoids sharp angles or corners and also bear self-cleaning properties to ensure its recovery in case it eventually gets clogged. The third problem comes when we are supplying water with a certain level of dissolved salts in there or when we are dosing any kind of liquid fertilizer. The chemical reactions, the evaporation and the change in the pH level can provoke those dissolved salts to precipitate into solid forms and then clog our emitters. The best way to manage this precipitation is to monitor and control the dissolved salts concentration and pH level within the water, as well as avoid water evaporation from the surface. Also, the system should be ready to accurately dose the required chemicals to prevent clogging from both organic and inorganic contaminants. To avoid all this situation, have nice installation watering nicely your crops it's important to select the right filtration system to use quality meter with anti-clogging properties and most important to perform a good operational and maintenance works if you need more information visit our website and don't forget to connect with me on linkedin